As more questions are asked about sexual exploitation by Oxfam staff in Haiti, the international charity is fighting to save its reputation. Ahead of a meeting with Oxfam bosses in London, Britain's International Development Secretary warned they must be transparent about what happened in 2011 or risk losing government funding worth $43 million last year. If the moral leadership at the top of the organisation isn't there, then we cannot have you as a partner. I would also just note that there are enormous numbers of people who are doing good work and they're good people working sure. for Oxfam, uh, and they have been well. betrayed in this as well. The charity's been hit by reports its country director for Haiti, Roland van Hauermeyeren, was alleged to have invited prostitutes to a villa rented for him by Oxfam following the 2010 earthquake. The organisation says it did investigate at the time and fired four people while allowing three others, including Mr Van Hauermeyeren, to resign. What those few privileged men in Haiti did was to betray the trust of our supporters, our donors and to betray the thousands of hard-working Oxfam staff who put themselves out, risked their lives to do this work of saving people's lives, children's lives. On Monday, it emerged that back in 2006, when Van Hauermeyeren was Oxfam's country director in Chad, concerns were also raised about employees using sex workers there. Hours later, Oxfam's deputy chief executive, Penny Lawrence, resigned, saying the organisation failed to adequately act on the allegations concerning both Chad and Haiti. Oxfam has announced a series of measures in response to the scandal. It says it's improving its recruitment and vetting process and setting up a new independent helpline for people to report abuse. But some industry insiders say there's a wider culture of denial, warning for years predatory paedophiles have been allowed to target the aid sector. Andrew McLeod, a former senior advisor to the United Nations, agrees. He's calling for prosecutions. We've got to fix this. Aid workers and the aid industry needs to be full of humility. Now, there are very, very many good aid workers out there, and certainly not every aid worker is a pedophile, far from it. But the systematic problem is the culture of the industry, the paternalism, and just think of Oxfam not even reporting it to the local police, what was going through their head. Charities like Oxfam are going to be under intense scrutiny from politicians here in Britain. How they respond could determine not just how much government money they continue to get, but how much goodwill they continue to receive from the general public. And that could be their biggest concern. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera, London.